do you fix a PC that constantly restarts and gets stuck in a boot loop? In this video, we are going to find out. My name is Matt, I'm a former rocket scientist, and my goal is to help you make the right component choices and put them together the right way every single time. In the It's Not Rocket Science series, we've been helping you solve PC problems with expert troubleshooting tips on how to keep your system running like a pro. It's Not Rocket Science, and as you will see throughout this series, it really is Lego. In this video, our focus will be on how to fix a PC that constantly restarts and gets stuck in a boot loop. I'm sure that many of you have experienced a situation where your PC simply refuses to boot into Windows without constantly restarting. I recently experienced this exact problem when I switched GPUs on my test rig and I couldn't get it to boot into Windows. So I thought it would be helpful to discuss the issue and show you how I was able to solve it. The actual root cause may surprise you. Before the battle gets started, I wanted to discuss an issue that I had while conducting the testing for this video and more importantly, show you how I solved it. The problem was that when I switched from my Sapphire Nitro 7900 XDX, the GPU I have in my AMD test bench, to the reference AMD Radeon 7900 XDX, my system wouldn't boot into Windows. I would normally use DDU to wipe the drivers before installing a new GPU, but these are both 7900 XDX cards, so it wasn't necessary. The system would boot loop and sometimes make it all the way to Windows, only to immediately shut back down. After multiple failed boot attempts, I would get a startup menu and try to boot into safe mode, but the same behavior persisted. I would eventually boot into Windows in safe mode, only for the system to shut down immediately before I even had a chance chance to do anything. It was incredibly frustrating. I tried pretty much everything I could think of to solve the issue. I cleared the CMOS multiple times and left the BIOS at default settings, but that didn't work. I suspected it might be a power related issue, so I unplugged the PSU, let the power drain from the system, and tried powering it back up, but that didn't fix it either. I tried putting back in the original Sapphire Nitro Plus 7900 XDX, but now that wouldn't even boot, so it wasn't the GPU. Still thinking it was power related, I even tried replacing the entire PSU which did actually allow me to boot into Windows until I switched back to the original AMD Radeon 7900 XDX reference model, and then it stopped working again. At this point, I wanted to pick the entire test bench up, throw it out the window and scream, but at least I had now eliminated the PSU as the problem. I still strongly believed it was power related, so I decided to unplug the cables from the USB 2 headers on the motherboard. The first one I tried was for the Gigabyte PSU, which has a beautiful LCD window on the side that requires a USB connection. No luck at all. The next one I tried was for the EVGA CLCX AIO, which has a great LCD screen that requires a USB connection to communicate with the EVGA software. And bam, that was it. When I tried rebooting the system, everything worked as expected. First time, straight away, no issues. I've had an issue before with using a splitter on USB 2 headers, something I highly recommend not doing, but nothing as simple as this. It's crazy how such a small issue can cause such a huge problem. PC building can be frustrating when you have an issue that's tough to diagnose, and we all immediately think the worst, but sometimes it's something much easier to solve. So my strong recommendation is, if you ever face an issue like this, try disconnecting devices from your motherboard before assuming the worst. You could save yourself a lot of time and frustration. Remember, it's not rocket science, it's Lego. My goal is to help you make the right component choices and put them together the right way every single time. Thank you for watching this video in the It's Not Rocket Science How To series. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel further, please also consider joining our new membership program, which I'm super excited about. Bye for now.